the mother of all bats. This is a bat that Jenna and Hook made and it's been dormant for about a month. So we're going to have a look at it and see what the pH is for a start. Let's open her up. Oh, nice. And well, it is alive and this insulation, which I scrounged from the building site, is very good if you ever see any because it stops the bat from getting too hot, too cold, doesn't like a shock, doesn't like noise. Even though the vat's cold at the moment, it's still a tepid cold, it's not winter cold. So Jen I hooked it up this vat and she said to me generally use the vat and then give it a treat. And if the pH goes up too much, it's not much far off, 12.1 one above, 0 0.1 above, perfect. Um, so it will die well. So we're going to use this on the textiles. This is called the flower and we want to gather it up and take it out while we use it. I generally clear an aperture to put the textile in. This is a lovely piece of cotton gauze soaking in an alkaline bath. It's just a scrap gauze. Just pop it in and massage it. You keep it submerged, you don't want oxygen into your vat too much. And you need to have your textiles wet. You don't want to introduce dry textiles in there. Too much oxygen. And the more you dip it, it's not the longer you leave it, but the more dips you give it. Massage it with your fingers. This would make a lovely little summer scarf. I'm going to do it again. Squeeze underwater. Bring it up. And oxidise it. This is a cheapest cotton gauze you can get, but it's rather beautiful when you put the blue in. Yep. I'm just going to feed it, say thank you. It's the most beautiful stirrer. Put the flower back on. Give it a good stir and later on this afternoon we'll heat it up and use it to dye some silk. There's another flower in the wing and now I'm going to pull out the paddle in a minute. Just at the side so I don't break the flower up. 